Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over my Streamlabs OBS settings. I've gotten a few questions in regards to them. I do stream in pretty decent quality, so 1080p by 60. It's probably some of the best quality you can get on Twitch right now. Uh, again, these settings are kind of based around my specs. So my PC specs and then my internet speeds as well and upload speeds. So again, you got to keep that in mind when you're setting up your speeds. Not everybody's going to be the same and you just might not be able to stream in these settings just because maybe your internet's not as good or maybe some specs aren't as good on your PC. Uh, but again, I stream mainly Apex, a little bit of variety here and there. Uh, but these are my settings. Copy and paste them. This might work for you. This might not. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below and if you guys need a little bit more help as well. Of course, I'm here to help as best as I can. Uh, but let's hop right into it. All right, nerds, first order of business. These are my PC specs. You can see right here. This is what I'm running in my PC. You know, it's nothing crazy. It's pretty kind of like medium build or whatever. I don't know. It's nothing crazy. Um, but I am able to run a lot of games on high end settings um, like let's say Apex. I run that pretty much high end settings like um, I don't know. It looks good. It looks visually good. So I play. That's how I play. Uh, also, next, we're going to go ahead and um, run a little internet speed test. This is my speed. Uh, it's going to give us our download speeds and our upload speeds. Like I said, I have I pay for like some of the best. So it's like not everybody's going to have these speeds. Um, actually, right now, they're not that quick. Usually they average around 800, but this is fine. It doesn't matter. Even like this, when you're, when it comes to streaming on Twitch, it's all about your upload speed. And even then my upload speed kind of suck right now, but this is good enough, uh, at least for me to um, run my streams on uh, 1080p. There you have it. Download 461, upload is 17 megabytes per second. Uh, you're gonna wanna run this on your PC, just so you can get kind of a, um, a sense of how fast your speeds are, you know, your downloads and uploads, because this is going to matter when it comes to the quality of your Twitch streams or, you know, YouTube streams, Facebook, all that stuff. All right. Now we're going to go through our settings. Uh, I'm just going to go tab per tab. I'm not really going to explain each single tab mainly because I am not very knowledgeable when it comes to the specific settings. Um, I just kind of pick them out. They work for me. They work for my PC and my internet speeds. So if yours are kind of the same as mine, then it, it'll work on you, okay? Uh, general settings, I don't really touch this too much. I don't touch this at all, actually. So this stays the same. Stream, you're gonna wanna uh, link whichever you know platform you use. I use Twitch, so my Twitch channel is linked right here. Uh, I don't, if you, know, if you stream on YouTube, just link it here. Anyways, let's continue. Output, I have it on simple. My, my video bit rate is at six thousand um right now it won't let me change because i'm recording so that's why i won't let me change anything uh hardware i use the nvnc new for the encoder audio bitrate i don't think i touched this i left it on 160 and then we have the recording i just i have the largest size files just so i can have the best quality um this goes directly into one of my external hard drives because they do come up pretty large size like two gigabytes three gigabytes per like like 20 minute video recordings so that's how that i have that audio i don't touch the audio except you know your inputs and your outputs that's pretty much it so for the video tab here i have it on 920 by 1080 for the base uh also for the output so whatever i'm outputting onto twitch itself it's gonna come out as 1080p 60 so you have the settings you're able to choose the quality of the stream you can go 720 or you can go 1080p if the streamer is um, outputting that resolution. So I output that resolution just because my PC and my internet, most importantly, is able to uh, output that. So FPS will be that 60, 1080p, 60 frames per second. Uh, hotkeys, I don't really mess with that. Uh, advanced, this is, I went through a video on YouTube, this is exactly how it told me to put it. So I put it exactly like this. Um, besides that, I don't touch anything on here just because I don't know what any of this means to be completely honest. Um, but that's pretty much all that you really need to worry about. Uh, besides that, you don't really touch anything else. So that's pretty much it for the general settings here for Streamlabs OBS. Again, if your internet speed is not as fast, 
uh, when it comes to upload speeds, etc. cetera. Uh, you might wanna lower down your bit rate. I have mine at 6,000 bit rate just because my internet is able to output that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the bio. Uh, this is a link from Twitch itself. It'll kind of give you a, um, a base starting point as to where you should put your bit rate depending on your internet speeds. Again, if you have any questions, just let me know down below. Uh, but again, this is more of a kind of copy and paste video. Hopefully it works on your end with your PC. Uh, if you do need to lower the quality of your settings on Streamlabs, then definitely do so. Just, you know, not everybody's gonna have the same internet. Not everybody's gonna have the same specs as well. Uh, remember as well, if your PC is not able to run games on high quality like mine is, you can lower the in-game settings so it's like lower quality. That way your computer runs smoother. Those are just kind of some general tips that I've learned. Uh, as I streamed. Um, again, I, I do stream here and there. So if you guys wanna check me out on Twitch, it's twitch.tv slash forward JPN Diaz, two Zs at the end. I'll have that link down below as well. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys found this informative or it helped you. If it did, drop a like. Um, if it didn't, dislike I suppose, doesn't matter. Uh, but have a good day, take care of yourselves and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.